Welcome to Tea with Lily Bet and a special welcome to my new subscribers. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I've spent the last 18 months decluttering my home. It's been quite the journey and I've achieved a lot. And when I moved into this new place around six months ago, it was an opportunity for me to have a clean slate, a completely fresh start to set up this home exactly how I want it to be. I have done a lot since I've moved into the place and it is really starting to come together. But there are still a few messy corners that I haven't done anything about yet. In my kitchen, I have a couple of drawers and one particularly really messy cupboard that need to be sorted out. So I'm going to start with those. And I've also got this telephone table and the drawers of my entertainment unit that are stuffed with receipts and bits of junk. I would love to get all of this sorted today, but I've got to be realistic. So I'm just going to start with the kitchen and see how I go from there. As you can see, there is a lot of work to do. So it's time to roll up my sleeves and get started. Once I've got my apron on, the first thing will be to get everything out of the cupboard. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights So this is everything from my under sink cupboard in my kitchen. It may not look like it, but I actually don't like to use too many chemicals in my home. Some of these items have been with me for a really long time. They might have been stored in my garage or under the kitchen sink or in the laundry in my old place. And I did a lot of decluttering before I left there, but I didn't know what I would need in terms of cleaning products for the new place. So anything that was still in date that I thought I could make use of, I brought with me. But now that I've been living here for six months, it's time to take a closer look at these items and work out what I actually do need to keep and what I want to declutter. I need a little bit more room to work, so I'm just gonna clear some of the things I normally keep on this bench. And then the sorting can begin. Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Everything has now been sorted into piles. Starting at this end, I have some refills for hand soap and some laundry detergent refills. So I'm gonna check the bottles because I think some of them could be emptied into the bottles. My paper towels, some white vinegar that I like to use for cleaning. These are sprays that I don't use that often, but occasionally I will use them if I've got particularly streaky windows. So I'll use that Windex up, had it for a long time, and this multi-purpose cleaner. These are little cleaners for the wall. They get marks off the wall and scuffs and things like that. Some baking powder that I use for cleaning. This is a spray that I thought I'd try in the shower to, to get rid of moldy bits, but it doesn't seem to work. I might try and use it for other cleaning, so I'll hang on to that. 
Garbage bags, of course. These are these hybrid bags that are 50% environmentally friendly. I'm trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly in my kitchen. And then I've got some bleach. This is a full bleach and this one is nearly finished. I don't use bleach a lot, but with having a pet, sometimes you do need to use some bleach. So I don't really want to throw it out. It does last a long time, but hopefully I'll be able to use that one up and then I'll just have the one bottle. Oven cleaner because, yeah, you do need chemicals sometimes in the oven. Dishwasher detergent and rinse aid and some Glen 20. I think I had this from the pandemic, so I'll just use that up. And another disinfectant that's nearly emptied. I mainly had that because of Millie. I've got some bug spray. I try not to use bug spray too much, but occasionally I do need it. And AeroGuard for mosquitoes. Mosquito protection, you really do need that in Australia. This is my plant food here. And this is a little deodorizer for the bin. So hang on to that. This is furniture polish. And I've got a silicon spray for squeaks. This is from the pandemic, those plastic gloves. And just some scrubs and gloves. So those are all the things that I'm keeping. And most likely will go back in the cupboard because at the moment I don't have any cupboard in my laundry. So we'll probably have to make room for them in this cupboard. And then I've got all the things that I'm decluttering. This is a pile of empty containers and just things that I'm gonna throw out so they can be recycled. These are the items that I'm actually decluttering. This one I actually borrowed from someone because I thought there was a serious problem with my shower drain, but I didn't actually use it. And then pure alcohol left over from the pandemic, beeswax orange oil that is really too old to use now, it's gone off. An old bathroom spray and, and some bug sprays that they're really just too heavy, too much chemicals for me to spray around here. And then there is this laundry bleach, which I never really used. I think I got it for the pandemic as well, but I never really used it. So I'm going to give that to someone who might find it useful. A single glove that has lost its pair, so that can be decluttered as well. I think the council has a way to safely get rid of chemicals. So I'll be looking up the council website to see how to do that. But all of these other things are going to be put away. So what I'm going to do now is clean out the cupboard. It needs a good wipe down. So there's a few stains and bits and pieces. And then I'm going to put everything away. I thought I'd just check my storage cage and I found some containers that I used in my old place that might be useful under the sink. Some of them are actually quite good quality. And I've got these two Lazy Susans as well. And I thought maybe for access, this might be quite good to have some bottles sitting on it and also to protect the shelf from getting marked. So I'm gonna give these things a clean up and see what I might find useful. And I also got this little cushion that I used to have on my outdoor chair. I used it in my last video to protect my knees when I was gardening. And it's really quite comfy. So I think this might be handy as well while I'm putting some things away. Working around the pipes and the installed water filter was quite the challenge. But now that I've determined the configuration of the containers, 
it's time to start putting things away. I'm also taking a moment to refill my soap and detergent pumps to reduce the amount of packages that I need to store. If you've made it this far in the video, please leave me a house emoji to let me know that you're still with me. I'm pretty happy with how it's all set up now. I did end up using the Lazy Susans. I've got the smaller one up top and I've mainly got items that are a little bit shorter and things that I use quite a lot like the baking powder. And then in this basket, I've got my dishwasher gear and the paper towel can just sit there. There is some room at the back to put some items if I do end up getting any new things, but for now I've just kept that clear. And on the bottom shelf, I put things that I don't use very often at the very back, things like the bleach and the silicon spray. And then I've got a little basket here that has some refills and scouring pads and these little wall scrubs, which I don't use all that often as well. At the front, I've got my cleaning items that I use more often, and it's going to be just easier to access with this Lazy Susan. This container fits really nicely underneath this view bend in the sink. So I was able to put a scrubbing brush, my gloves, another scrubbing brush and my garbage bags. With the under sink cupboard done, it's time to turn my attention to the two kitchen drawers. But before I get started, there is a cutlery tray that I've hidden away that I might wanna swap out for the one that I currently have in the drawer. It's a much more streamlined design that I'm hoping will help to make better use of the space, but first it needs a quick clean. The first step is to take all the items out of both drawers and lay them all out on the bench top so I can see what I actually have. is everything from my kitchen bits and pieces utility drawer. Baking paper, cling wrap, aluminium foil, measuring cups and measuring spoons, can opener, wine stoppers and tea strainers, and some ad hoc bits and pieces. So I'm going to go through these items off camera and declutter the ones I'm not planning to keep. These are the things that I'm going to be keeping. So I'll just need to find a home for those, hopefully in one of the drawers or cupboards. And here are the items that I'm decluttering. Got some knives there. This is a utensil to take apart and clean a blender that I've actually gotten rid of. So I don't need that any longer. And I've just got various measuring spoons that are part of old sets, a lighter and some bottle caps. And then these are containers that I was using in the drawers. I'll either clean them up and put them back in the drawers or I'll repurpose them. I think this one is quite good. Those other ones, I might see how I go with those. Before I start organizing all the items that I am keeping and put them away, I want to give the drawers a good clean. And I also want to put down some lining to protect the base of the drawers and also give the items a little bit of stability so that they don't move around as much. I just 
remembered that I had all these containers in the entertainment unit. Well, they might be quite useful for those drawers to corral all the items. And I've also got this little bamboo box as well that I might use. So I'm gonna give it a go and see if I can make those work. You know, now that I'm changing everything around, it would be really nice to have the cutlery in the higher shelf, which was easier said than done because rearranging these drawers with the new cutlery tray and the other containers that I found turned out to be quite a challenging puzzle. I also wanted to declutter and streamline the utensils I use the most often, which I keep next to the stove. With the two drawers completed, it was time to tidy up. Decluttering and reorganizing the kitchen cupboard and drawers took way longer than I thought it was going to take. And I didn't end up getting to the other task that I wanted to do, which was sorting out the telephone table and the entertainment unit. But I have other responsibilities. I have to cook dinner tonight, and I need to make sure I have enough energy to see my clients tomorrow. In the past, I would have kept going and just pushed through, and I would have paid the price for doing that. But I'm really trying to change that behavior and take better care of myself. So I've decided to call it and leave those other tasks for another day. But I really think the work that I have done will make a big difference to my daily experience of using the kitchen. So I'm gonna claim this declutter as a victory. I've packed up all of the items. This cutlery tray, and these containers will go into the storage cage, as well as some of these items in here. These are the cleaning products and chemicals that I need to safely dispose of. This pile here will either be thrown out or recycled. I've got to work out what to do with the knives. They'll either be given away or safely disposed of. So now let's take a look at the final results of this kitchen declutter. to announce I'll be doing another live next week and the topic is going to be worst declutters ever. Please bring all of your decluttering and reorganizing questions. I'm going to be talking about my home office, the garage, that horrible cupboard that I had back in my old place and the whole house declutter I did before I moved into this apartment. And also I want to hear your declutter stories, both your disasters and your successes. So I hope that you're able to join me for that. If you're not able to join me for the live but you want to ask a question, if you go to the live tab on my channel, you'll see that video waiting. Just post the question under the video. I hope that you enjoyed watching this decluttering video and that you've got some inspiration for decluttering your own kitchen cupboard and drawers. 
If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. It really does help my channel. And if you do watch my videos regularly and haven't already joined, I'd love to welcome you as a new subscriber. So thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.